Do you want to say grace or something? What are you waiting for? Uh, uh, welcome. <laughs> to Happy Two Rights Christmas. Uh, Easter. Easter. <laughs> Easter. Festivus. This well, is our, this is our Two Rights Easter. We got the crew here um, having a little holiday fun. So this is our Easter special. Not sure if anything entertaining is going to happen at all. Just watch us eat. Yeah, just watch us eat. I thought you were just joking. It was Christmas, and then if nothing clearly, else, clearly, clearly, that was not a joke. No. If nothing else, we could just do like B-roll stuff of just like this is. Uh, you know what we should do? Hmm. You are right. You, the we two should. rights, uh, the two rights crew wishing you a happy Easter. We could do B-roll stuff like that. Yeah. We could do. We could just do all holidays right now. So I'll just be like, just happy rabbits. Christmas! Rabbits for every yeah. Merry Christmas! <laughs> or, or, I already did yep. Christmas. Happy so happy. Christmas twice in a row now. Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> happy birthday! Somebody wished me happy birthday at work the other day. And was it your birthday? My birthday's in May. Oh, or, or did you hear them incorrectly and they wished you a very merry unbirthday? Nope. She definitely said happy birthday, and I was like, thank you. And she's like, I don't know when your birthday is, but Who it's coming. That? Carl. I am a few days. Mm-hmm. Right. Are you the 24th? 29th. 29th. Mm. Close. I thought it was the 24th because I just, I was watching a video of the Vietnam draft. Mm. And that was one of the first 30 days that was called. Mm. Who got first round pick? <laughs> <laughs> that was the top comment. <laughs> the top comment was, I can't believe I got the first round draft pick on the Vietnam draft. <laughs> <laughs> to go help the Vietnam. Yep. <laughs> I'll do it now. I feel like it wasn't random. The thing I noticed is that a lot of the days that are considered not very common birthdays weren't really on that list. That would make sense. They're like, we're going to make sure he do have him on his birthday certificate. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of Septembers, and that's like the most common birth month in the world. Mm-hmm. That's when I was born. May is a busy month for some reason. May is pretty uncommon. No, but I'm saying they make the baby in May. For September? Not for September. Are you <laughs> no, that'd be you, know, years. you know human pregnancies are nine months, right? No. I don't know how, I don't know how long they're... <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's all win- it's not winter, it's that. winter, winter babies. Are, everyone's cooped up inside. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Typically, you can always see when the coldest day was by seeing the birth rate and then going nine months back. Mm. Well, I also want to know then too, is is the most common birthday in September, like everywhere in, like let's just go with America, it's like Florida, is the most common birth rate for people born in Florida also September? Or is it, some other, is it just completely Well, I think it is because it's based off of vacations. Which is generally Christmas vacation. Christmas and New Year's. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, yeah. I was just thinking it was based on being cooped up inside when it's cold, you're not going anywhere. That helps. Because in the South... I, I do think that helps. In the South, you think it'd be on the days when it's super hot and it's too hot to go outside. They got the air conditioning yeah, glass. Then, <laughs> yeah, then you got to have... An, for all of that. Yeah, you got to have another person on you. Yeah, exactly. I don't that's, care that's about that at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> that does not bother me. Meg's. <laughs> he looked at you and he said that. <laughs> <laughs> it bothers me, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if it's hot enough, do not touch me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but that's why that's a big difference between though. men and women, though. Yeah, I'm always cold. Exactly. Don't men they always like, run hot. Don't they call they call summer women's winter? Yeah. Because of the air conditioning being on everywhere. But to be fair, our house is cold in the summer. I still don't understand how women always talk about like turning the shower up to just like the max 
and just leaving it there. It's like, it that's dead. that's crazy. Eh? My skin would be just peeling off me. Because they're demons. Mm-hmm. Okay. And also, all their heat stored in their vaginas, so... They... <laughs> that's definitely true. I remember you saying that in 20... 2013... 2012, 2013. But then, like, well, so what I want to know, though, then, but do women run hotter then? No. Because if you run hotter and you're cold, that means, <laughs> that means there's a smaller differential of heat difference. So that's why you're cold when it's hot out. Because there's not as big of a, because if we run colder and it's hot out, then we feel even hotter. Men's core, core body temperature tends to be warmer than <coughs> women. Does it? That's what I've heard. I'm over 98.6. That's I'm, my average. See, when I'm healthy, I'm 97.1. Yeah, I'm like 99.1. I'm like 96 degrees. I'm really cold. Put it on the doctor's bed. Well, I have a problem touching hot stuff. That would make sense. <laughs> yeah, I just can't really hold body heat. My body's very hot. I have a problem touching hot stuff because it's hot and I touch it. Yeah. My dad never used oven mix. He would always use a towel on it and be like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And I just would never. Come on. There's an oven mitt right there. Just used to touching what are hot things, I guess. I don't know. No, I've got a dishwasher hands. Yeah, that's what I mean. He does. No, I, I, I can't. I can't wash my hands at the full heat. <coughs> I can't feel I'll most of my hands thing. half the time, so whatever. Oh, that's right. I finally have almost almost all of my feeling back in this pinky. Ugh. What did you do with? Oh, it was a real bad nerve thing. I either pinched it or I entrapped it. But it was real bad. It was like right here. Mm. And it would just, for a while, it would be like if I stretched wrong, like it would just feel like the that bolt of almost like electricity going through it. And then it would just be numb for a long time after. Fun. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of that, the, the, the funny bone in your elbow I used to feel like I had that thing like hit all the time when I was a kid like every other day my funny bone got hit whatever I don't think I've heard anyone reference a funny bone or I've had it happen to me in like a decade because you're not funny anymore is that how that worked? Mm -hmm. oh. you lost your hilarity well it saves me, if it you saves, lost your nerve if it you saves will. me pain that's okay yeah, but have you guys? Did you really point? feel like it hurt you when that happened? Well, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and then my my and then it felt like there was pins and needles in my hand for like a half hour after that. Oh, that's weird. I've yeah. never had it that bad. I oh. would I would hit my funny bone and it would just like shoot the electricity up, but it never felt painful to me. Oh yeah, it hurt. If you hit it hard enough, yeah. So hurt. I feel like the only time I ever got hit was it got hit hard enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that happened to me in high school. But like when yeah, when was the last time you guys even had that happen to you then? Because like I feel like it happened all the time and now all of a sudden it just doesn't happen. At work. I've definitely happened enough. at at UPS before. I think that happened to me at UPS too, probably. Mm -hmm. They're running into shit all all over the place. Yeah, I don't do enough anymore where I'm like doing shit like that, yeah. You know what definitely happened to me when I worked at UPS? Now that I think about it. Yeah. So you know you're old when you stop hitting your funny bone and stuff. I don't know if that's a good gauge, <laughs> gauge of age. <laughs> <coughs> that's what I got to say about that. Nice. Bless you. I mean, Russ knows he's old because YouTube videos keep just personally attacking him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you getting like? Like just for men commercials and stuff like that, like adult diapers. Like what's going on? Pens. What kind of ads are you getting? Uh, I saw this one where this guy <laughs> <Not even> ads. <laughs> just just like recommended videos. 
how yeah. to cope how to cope with your it's a, middle it's a, ages it's, like a, it's a it's a bunch of it's a bunch of ads for like ed and prostate exams Oh. Well, for some reason, Bluetooth does just keep popping up yeah. everywhere. Bluetooth. I don't understand it. Like, but Blue, the, I'm not that old. Well, I keep getting the commercials for like Hims now, whatever. Mm-hmm. But Hims is for like millennials, though. It's for young people. Hims isn't his is Hims isn't for old people. I'm pretty sure well, Hims, Hims bought Bluetooth too. Yeah, Hims is for everybody. Hims oh, is I mean, definitely. It's for, well, I mean, the, the latest commercial I've seen for them, it's like it's it's helping millennials get their best. Like that's like that's what like their tagline is. I mean, whatever. what do you? When what I, is Hims to you? I, I was gonna say when I used well, to. Well, Hims is Hims is a a hub to get the stuff. It's a website, mm. but Hims specifically makes chewable tablets. Yeah, but they also they right. also so the they ad, also do other things. Right, but the ad I'm seeing is for the ac- the actual chewable tablets, mm. not for the website as a hub to buy a bunch of ED stuff. It's well, it's not a bunch of ED. Uh, actually, Hims is a lot of hair stuff. Is it? Yes. Yeah, it's so, it's so you it's don't a, look old. It's okay. a lot. Uh, it's a lot. Of, I've never seen it. For yeah, anything Hims is they sell Hims is meant for of men of to be not old. I've they, never seen. They, they sell a lot of stuff for like people going through male pattern baldness <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, yeah, and never, like you keep what you got left if you use these like ro- they basically sell like Rogaine. Yeah, 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 yeah I've, I've, I've never seen that. Like, that's what that's what Hims used to be until they got Blue Chew. And then oh. all, now they are doing all of men's health. Hers is a thing, too. Mm-hmm. Is, it, is it owned by the same people? I don't know. Or is it something completely separate? I I thought it was owned by the same people, but I, I've i never looked into it. Okay. I have ADHD. I don't pay attention to commercials. They come on and I zone out. That's I do the exact opposite. It's so funny. I'll talk, <laughs> I'll talk through a show, but then once the commercials are on, I'm like... <laughs> And they just get me. Hypnotized. Mm-hmm. That's how they get your money. So, but is the is the is the ads are hitting them, so they're doing their job. It's not even an ad. <laughs> so, what are the videos? I what sent him one actually. It was it was a bit <clears throat> video. Basically, this Twitch streamer was talking, and then a guy comes into his chat and he asks how old he was, and uh, the streamer replies back that he was thirty three. <laughs> And then the, the chatter just replies, I'm sorry, and just leaves. No. <laughs> I, heard, I saw another one, and this is like, it literally summed up how I felt, especially with everybody else around me being like barely 30 now at this point, you know? it's It said something like the, like, the hardest part about being in my 20s is waking up every day and realizing that I'm actually in my 30s. Like, I'm actually closer to 40 than I am 20. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's rough. It's rough waking up being 27 and realizing I'm actually 37. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Boy. It's rough realizing that, that I'm the youngest male here and I probably have the worst hairline. <laughs> it's sad. You know what? That makes me feel great, actually. <laughs> that makes me feel great. But when did you start going gray in your beard? I don't know, like five years ago? Five years ago, see that I'm mad that I'm not going gray yet. I want <laughs> I want my beard to turn gray. I want the gray here. White's better than gray, though. You want to turn white. I mean, it's fine. But I, I want, looks better. I want silver. That's what yeah. I want. Silver. <laughs> That'll work. I want the I want the Doctor Strange gray <laughs> here. And then I want it to go here. But like yours never did that. Yours just started coming in randomly. Right so I don't, here, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get the lines here then. <laughs> But also, I'm probably not going to go gray until I'm like 50 at this rate, which is annoying because that's probably when I'm going to die, so I'm never going to experience gray hair. Yeah, I have you no idea what that'll happen to my... I could die it, but... Oof. Gray's popular now. <sighs> well, that's... Really? That's an in- that's a painful I'm still endeavor. hearing people say that they rather have white hair than gray. Hmm. Yeah, gray. there's a lot of gray. There's a lot of gray. People like gray... I did that in the silver. Feel Clooney looks. Can I get the butter there? Thank you. My mom started getting gray hairs when she turned 30. But so far, I don't seem to have gotten that gene. It's just turned purple? No. Dude, I turned purple when I turned 30. I have no idea what's happening with my hair because, you know, the longest time I'm just figuring, well, my hair's probably going to fall out by the time I'm 30. But, like, my hairline just, like, it went back and then it just stopped. That it, happens to a lot of it'd people. It'd be like this sometimes. 
Yeah. And now I just now I just look like Super Saiyan three Vegeta. <laughs> that doesn't even exist though. Well, not canonically. Yeah. No. But you do have eyebrows. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. So you never see him because of the bandana. But yeah, they're there. <laughs> they're there. Did you scratch your head through your hat? Yeah. That's an unnormal thing to do. Is it? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I don't know. Like <laughs> it is. <laughs> we'll let you know. It, it actually is a thing. But sometimes it's just a pain in the ass to take the hat off and you got to get all the hair back on her there. Yeah, if you, if you can that's just... That's it. Yep, just yeah. like that. Yeah, that's how everyone does it. <laughs> you must feel real stupid right about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned something new. You know about the old... Uh, I don't know, this is something you may not do. This is something that probably all of the rest of us at the table have done, but the old twist and pinch... <laughs> what are we twisting well, and pinching? So what do you so think? It's typically how we scratch our balls. Yeah, no, no one, I don't think any man in history has ever scratched their balls. Yeah, we kind of grab it weird. and pinch it and kind of twist it like you're doing yeah. like a purple circle. I've never seen you do that in my life. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he does it when you're not looking. He goes, well, let me explain makes, it now. He makes sure. <laughs> drops, drop. He makes sure that you're not looking every time. <clears throat> He only does it when I'm at work. It's not exactly a graceful process, so oh, yeah. yeah, you know. Oh, speaking of speaking of things that happen with men Uh-oh. that women just yes, don't know. educate me. Well, let's just like let's. Do you know what turn your head head and cough means? I know it has something to do with some shit going on there. Yeah, it's to find out if you have a hernia. Oh, okay. So the okay. doctors will like grab your cup your balls. Oh, and right. then you turn your head one way and cough, and it tells it like based on how your balls react. That's oh. not. The, doctors don't grip like they're they're feeling the glands on the inner thigh. Is that if, what they're? If, if that's your what doctor is grabbing your balls for that, you should get a new doctor. <laughs> I mean, all three of my doctors that I've had totally <laughs> they just cuff your balls yeah. while checking for a hernia. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you might have a hernia because that's not how you check that out. I don't know. <laughs> Like they gotta check the glands on the inner thighs because it's, because it's because it's your muscle. I disagree. What are they touching your thighs or are they touching your balls? Because you did this too. This is what you did. You did that. <laughs> they totally cup your balls. Nigel, I don't even know the last time I've had that done. I mean, because I have to, I have to have it done. Well, when I was driving semi trucks, I had to have it done to get my vet med card renewed, and that's how every single one of them did it. I don't remember this a is, doctor touching my balls since like this is puberty. like <laughs> but why were they touching your balls at puberty because you got it you, for your fitness for your physical to play sports if you ever played sports but that's what they I just figured it was normal puberty things or the doctor really wanted to fondle your balls I mean I guess I just had doctors that really like fondling balls but I'm pretty <laughs> sure they're supposed to be touching your balls I mean, yeah, probably to keep them in place or something, maybe. But like, they need Do you to even go to the doctor. <laughs> I, I mean, no. <laughs> I was about to say you don't really go to any of that stuff. Well, I've definitely had a no, physical. But that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've definitely had this happen, and yeah, like, but they gotta feel the glands on there because that's your muscle. It's your muscles coming out of your thigh. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. <laughs> Tell us in the comments. Dad! <laughs> Alright, right, chat. <laughs> Dad, did you get your balls cupped when you had your, like... <laughs> the doctors cup your balls when they tell you to turn your head and cough? Um, yes. Yes, the answer is yes. My but, dad has had his balls cup as well. But they touch other things, though, too, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the thing about... The thing about when you cough is that your balls go up. Yeah, they go up. <laughs> and if they don't go up, I think that's the that's when you have the hernia. Right? I don't know. So it's based on how your I've balls... I've never known why they did it. It's like I just trust guy. the yeah. doctor, okay? Yeah, I just trust the happens. doctor, yeah. All right. I just trust the people with MD. That's 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 the rule. I am learning today. 
Are there female things that you can ask us to see if we know about female stuff? No, I don't think so. Okay. That's I mean, we already they so elegantly talked about blue waffles today. Yeah, but that's not real. They don't so. make us. They don't make us cough or anything. We just sit in the stirrups and you know they go on in. <laughs> they go on in. They go and exploring. Yep. Spelunking. Yep. And they're little. They get the little miner's headgear on so they can see. Do they really? Yeah, no. they wear a little. No headgear. way. Well, yeah. How else are they supposed to see inside? It's like a. What's that? What's that? What's what's the uh, what's the similarities between a short-sighted gynecologist and a golden retriever? <laughs> oh no! They both have wet noses. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. I'm gonna use that one at the bar. That's a good one. I love that this conversation's happening and we're we have the Easter decorations out like Happy Easter what a vibe, dude. What a vibe. I was gonna say this is the only five minutes we're putting out tomorrow. Just <laughs> us, us eating at Easter dinner. Frolish Oster. Still talking about cupping balls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean it's technically not the first time I've talked about cupping balls on a podcast. It's not. This time you don't have to apologize to anyone for it, though. Not yet. Well, maybe. Just our maybe entire, you about being wrong. Just our entire fan base, yeah, maybe. Yeah, apologize to me for being wrong. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. What an incredible segment. Vietnam talk. <laughs> the balls. Yeah, the Vietnam talk really wasn't on camera much, though. We brought it back up, though. Yeah. Because of my well-placed draft comment. Yeah. I just really wish we got on camera Russell saying that we went to help the Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> we helped them die. Yeah, we weren't very good at that either, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, they, 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 they kind of fucked our shit up a little bit. We helped them unify themselves a little more. They became a stronger country. Oh, no. It's like when you're baking cookies or something, and your little toddler wants to help, and it's like, okay, you can tell. They didn't really have to put it down. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why, but I literally, when you said bacon cookies, I literally thought, like, bacon cookies. Bacon, bacon. cookies. Like, That's probably a thing. I mean, for they, sure. No, they are. They're, oh, yeah. It, Candy it, bacon. A, I was gonna say if it. That's right. Bacon is like I feel like bacon's like the rule thirty four of food. Like, I don't like it. That's fair. I'm, look, but I'm I don't. Just, if if there's a food that exists, they someone probably. You're about to fight, bacon. aren't you? Oh yeah, I eat so much bacon. <laughs> I like bacon. I mean, bacon is just. A I don't food. like bacon with things. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't like steak wrapped bacon. I don't like scallop wrapped. Or whatever. Yeah. I don't like bacon but you like wrapped bacon, into stuff. But you like bacon Scallop wrapped. wrapped bacon. I don't care I for like bacon wrapped. Whatever. whatever. You know I don't, what I mean. I don't care for bacon being wrapped. What, have you never wrapped. seen that? Scallops around bacon? I would. That'd be pretty sweet. Little bacon around you scallops. Kinda, bacon around you just kind of cut it. You know, what I, mean. so it's like, so it you know lay, what I mean. You lay it out flat like a, like a strip and then fry it on the bacon. That'd be <laughs> dope. But do you like, like bacon on hamburgers? Oh yeah, okay. that's that's normal enough. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, but also oh, oh yeah, because that though, we're now Culver's Wisconsin now has now. new thick cut bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer those little tiny like microwave piece of bacon. It's like good bacon. Yeah, but it actually would tasted worse. Mm. Yeah, that's so. not surprising. It was not fa- surprised. It, this was it was fatty. It was fatty. Yeah, but and that's why I don't really like bacon wraps up either because the inside of the bacon really doesn't get cooked. It's just soft and mushy and white. On mm-hmm. the inside, so. But I'll and just, steak yeah. is already the best protein in the world, so why make steak it worse? Is great. Adding anything to steak just makes it worse, in my opinion. I hate Do people that use steak sauce. No. I was just gonna have to use steak. I like steak sauce. Mm. I I literally, if I'm making a steak for myself, I don't even put salt or pepper on it. Oh. I just put it on the grill. I pull it off. I eat it. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> It's healthier Plus for me, you. and I, I love it. I think it tastes just as good. 
Oh, so I think it's healthier for you without salt and pepper on it. Yeah, I mean, I think salt. Pe- pepper serves a purpose, and now, like, I guess new studies show that the, actually the real thing you need to worry about is lack of salt in your diet. Not too much, because having I don't too think much, that's an American problem. Yeah, but having too much, <laughs> yeah, right, but having too much salt is actually a hereditary issue that people end up having. I do. My family has high cholesterol. Okay. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with cholesterol, though. I mean, it no. might. I don't know. I thought sodium was a cholesterol thing. I could yeah. be wrong. No. Also, t- salt's not good for you. It's not. Yeah, it is. It's if you, you need salt in your diet. You do need yeah, salt. but you're supposed to eat like sea salt or um, I think Himalayan salt. That's Specifically, good. table salt. Table salt is, is like stripped weird. of all of the minerals and stuff. Now I've heard new new things about, about that pink Himalayan <laughs> salt that is actually the worst salt for you. Now, but I like sea salt. The stuff it, needs the it, sea salt. it fluctuates all the time. Though. Oh yeah. Eggs were good for you. Eggs were bad for you. Eggs were yep. good for you. Eggs were bad for you again. And now eggs are. I don't even know what eggs amazing are. Amazing for you. Now. Different things affect. Different and I guess it all depends on the diet, food. on what you need to, yeah, diet for. Yeah. Well, everybody's bodies are different, and they react to things differently. You know? Everything's bad for you, and you're all gonna die. That is true. That is true. things you want. See, she was worried that we were going to run out of food because she's used to you eating. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) This is Russ's tea. (laughs) Sorry, guys. When I said you guys want to come over for dinner, I meant you had to bring your own food. (laughs) I just, I don't eat a lot anymore. I used to eat so much food. Mm-hmm. I was so active, I needed to eat, like, so much. But now, like, I barely eat anything. I actually we got Paul's earlier, I got a hamburger, and I told my girlfriend about the new bacon that they have. And we're like, why are you eating a hamburger at, like, noon or 30 when you're going to be having dinner at 5? You're not going to eat again, because that's normally that would be true. But I was starving this morning. So I like to eat a lot of smaller meals throughout the day. I usually just eat one big meal now, and it's not even that big. It's like... What I just ate. That's pretty much what I eat once a day, usually. Yeah, I think there's definitely merits for both. Cause, I mean, you always hear a lot of good things about intermittent fasting. Yeah. Even just daily intermittent fasting, which is like trying to eat the one meal or whatever yeah. a day. But I don't know. I've, I've always found that the smaller meals seem to be better for me. Yeah. Lots of smaller meals. Yeah, it's probably, it's, it's probably person to person, too. Mm-hmm. There's no one way of doing things. Yeah. Everybody's bodies function differently. Because I was listening to a podcast. I forget what the podcast was, but there was a doctor on talking about, like, fluid health and, like, basically, like, everybody's body is a little bit different. Or he's talking about, like, if a healthy, you know, normal person had orange juice it affects them differently than it would if you like had diabetes or something you know what i mean like, yeah. it really depends on what your what your body's doing mm-hmm. i just realized we had potatoes for breakfast Uh-oh. i've had three different kinds of potatoes today good for you i love potatoes they're so good potatoes are good oh yeah one of the best that's I how agree. kevin smith lost all his weight Potatoes? Potatoes. Mm. Eating only potatoes. Mm. Potato Jones. I mean, I went through a phase where I was only eating potatoes. Is when I had that weird, like, I had, like, a sinus infection. Everything tasted like rotten cantaloupe to me. Except, oh. for, except for potatoes. Mm. Potatoes were the only thing that I could eat. Even, like, beer, soda, everything. So I was eating potatoes and drinking water for about, like, a month and a half. Ooh. Yeah. I definitely get that. It got old real quick. I think I would have gone crazy if it wasn't for McDonald's French fries, though. I think that's really what gave me the flavor that I needed. <laughs> yeah. We're going to just do drink in a glass of milk. I love if milk. really likes milk. Milk is the same thing. Milk I love milk. Even milk. I was little, I hated it. Wait, so you don't like milk? Mm-mm. Jay, do you like milk? I'm not going to go out of my way to drink uh, milk, no. I, it's pretty much the same with him. I mean, cereal's great. 
Yeah. <laughs> but then I like siphon all the milk out. I scoop my cereal, push the spoon up against the bowl, and then pour all this milk out of it. Oh. So I'm not actually putting it into my mouth. That's what I, I do. Don't, I don't. I was expecting I you to like milk out of the bowl when I'm done. No, I don't drink that. Just it's got the nice flavor to it, the cereal all flavor. Oh. I just want you to like warm my dad. Have the bowl. Oh, have the bowl. My, my girl Michael like hates that. it. She hates it. And then you put it through a strainer. She'll make cereal like out of her. And then eat the cereal. Mm-hmm. What? So I want you to like make yourself the cereal with the milk, and then you like dump it in a strainer. I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, that's not a bad idea. And then you eat the. You just got slightly, slightly moist. Uh, cereal in a bowl no, from not, milk? Not moist. No. Yeah. Use a different word. No, that's what's happening. <laughs> I still remember when I was young, I, I used to use a lot of milk in my cereal. And one day my dad was like, he was complaining about it because he thought that I would just, when I was done with it, I would just leave the milk in there and just, you know, wash the bowl out. But no, I drank the milk out of it. And once he figured that out, he was like, oh, okay, as long as it's not going to waste. I okay. have, back when I used to eat so much, though, I would eat so much. I would eat an entire box of cereal in a sitting, and the milk would just deplete, mm-hmm. and then that would be fine. But yeah, again, I'll make a bowl, one bowl of cereal now, but I put just as much milk as I ever have, and all that milk goes yeah, just going down the drain. <laughs> I'll have a bowl of cereal with a glass of milk, and still drink the milk in the bowl. Oh, I don't dare need it. You. I was gonna say, I'd, what? Oh, how <laughs> oh, dare me! <laughs> I, I was gonna say, I, uh, anytime I ever use cereal nowadays, I'm usually either uh, using almond milk or oat milk anyway. I was gonna say, do you guys like do you do you do oh, I synthetic milk? She doesn't like them either. You don't like synthetic milk? I just milks? don't like the taste. I don't. I don't like the taste of milk. Like, in gen- she just don't like milk in general. Like, yeah, no, I get that. I definitely get that. Like, I could, I could eat like foods and stuff that were made with like almond milk or whatever, but I don't know if I want to drink a glass of almond milk or like silk that stuff what is that is that soy milk so yeah, yeah. Okay. Silk is soy you don't milk. like ice cream either do you yeah no. that's what Me I, neither. I don't like anything dairy I don't like oh cheese. i mean i know she likes cheese i yeah. love cheese i know she I don't likes like cheese sweet dairy. i don't like sweet dairy though yogurt milk pudding yeah no i don't mm. make it i like tricks yogurt that's the closest thing you're gonna get me to having dairy Ugh. no that's yeah i don't, I don't know i'm telling you fuck Fuck the vegetarians that want to like get rid of cows and stuff like that. Like that's vegans. Whatever. No, vegetarians that's, don't care. Vegans. That's global warming people. Yeah. Want okay. to get rid of well, cows. Global warming and <laughs> vegans. Yeah. Well, maybe like the Green Party. <laughs> what? I don't. I don't know. Vegans don't have. I mean, vegans. Vegans are the ones that have an issue with the treatment of like the the system. yeah well, think, systematic well, treatment. Of I don't cows. know if that's like they want the cows to be free. Though. They don't really want to get rid of the cows. Well, they don't want. They want to kill all. They the don't cows. want to get rid of cows. They want to get rid of the industry. Of, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. They they're not against cows. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> they just hate cows. <laughs> they just can't stand cows. But, I mean, global warming people want the to reduce the number of cows because of the methane gases. Mm. Do they even or cuz I've never heard anyone complain about cows. But they all complain about cars and all this kind of stuff and stuff that's really not even that bad. I've I heard cows ha- actually and I don't know how true this is, but I've heard cows actually re- well, all, put out a lot of all farting <laughs> creates methane gas. Yeah. That's they true. they contribute so much. I mean, cows, cows do cows fart a lot? I mean, apparently. <laughs> I mean, they blow themselves up. Yeah, they blow themselves if they can't release enough if they get too hot. That's why cows actually don't like heat. So the California cow like uh, dairy thing, when they say like happy cows are from California, they're not because they get too hot, they can't release enough gas in time, and their stomachs will blow up inside them. Oh, that's yeah. Sad. If they're, North if, California, if, if they're that one. if they're kept inside during hot days or yeah. stuff like that, yeah, it gets too hot and they'll blow up. Yeah, I knew a group of kids when I was younger who instead of cow tipping, they would go put heaters inside of cow barns. Oh, which no. I thought was absolutely that's terrible. Mean. Yeah, it was very terrible. Yeah. But that's well, what like they did. Cow tipping doesn't hurt them, does it? It can kill them because all their organs really... slush over so quickly. I think we decided, uh, I oh, think no. on another podcast, we decided that cow tipping is 100% yeah. myth. I've heard that it's a myth as well, but and not we, real. But it's so widely accepted as like a childhood prank. I feel like you would don't. have to be pretty strong yeah. to tip a cow. Yeah. There ain't no way a child is tipping a cow. I mean, when I say child, I really mean teenagers. We ain't tipping a cow. I don't know. I've the only it. time I've ever seen it was on Tommy Boy. 
And he just ran into the cow. And, and then, then like, over. And it's Chris Farley no. run, running into it. It still did a tip yeah. over? No, Chris, Chris Farley just like... No, he slid in the mud. Yeah, he fucking <laughs> just like ate shit. Yeah. The only... I've seen the scene where he rips the suit and the bees. That's like the only part of that. <laughs> Not even real bees, just fake bees. But I, that's the only part of Tommy's life. Yeah, I've never seen a whole movie. No, oh, it's one of my top five favorite parts of it. I've never seen it. I just don't remember a lot of it. The main <laughs> thing I remember is that the intro scene is filmed on Marquette campus. Oh, that's right. No, Chris Farley mm-hmm. actually went to Marquette. Mm-hmm. I'm a big Chris Farley fan. Mm-hmm. There's surprisingly a lot of number of uh, celebrities that went to Whitewater. That was surprising to learn. Is that the one that Wilder went to, Gene Wilder? I think Adam Sandler went there, too. Oh, really? I think so. There's a picture, there's a there's a hallway in the UC there that has pictures of all the celebrities that went there. And it's not like they graduated or spent all four years, but if they just attended, mm-hmm. they put pictures up, and I think he was on the wall. Didn't John Belushi go to Whitewater? Potentially. I think. I think so, but I don't know. Is that, John Belushi's the one who's in Adam Sandler films too, right? No. Is he no. not? No. Well, no, John, John, John Belushi died. The, like, original. What is what is Blues that group Brothers. called? The Blues Brothers. Oh, uh, that's yeah. a movie. What, what guy? Oh, that's SML? not the group. Oh, the Groundlings. What's no, the not group? Groundlings. Second City. Who's They're the... all in the, the, the all those people in those movies like Will Ferrell and everything. Which one is John Belushi? Then? There's a group. He was John Blues Belushi. Brothers. He's the guy with the buggy eyes in the Adam Sandler movies. Uh, Jim, Steve, Buscemi? Steve Buscemi? Buscemi, Buscemi, yeah, that guy. That's the guy I was thinking of. Yeah, no, no, John Belushi. Is... Buscemi, Belushi, same thing. Jim Belushi oh. was in some stuff. Jim Belushi. <clears throat> he had that TV show. Is, mm. According to Jim, he also yeah. was. Oh, right. He was. He was. John uh, Belushi is. Uh, he was one in the party. Mm-hmm. Animal House. Look, Animal Arm House. is it. <laughs> The guitar um, smashing scene. And then yeah, yeah Jim, Jim Belushi oh, I know who took that, yeah, over I know. in That's the Blues Brothers Belushi, yeah. with yeah. John Goodman. <clears throat> Instead of Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi, it was John Goodman and Jim, uh, Jim Belushi. And is Jim and John related to each they're other? Brothers. Yeah, they're okay. brothers. Yeah, they're brothers, yeah. I mean, Belushi's so common, so I mean, it could have been. No, no, they're brothers. It's not common. They're brothers. Apparently, when filming Animal House... John Belushi got bored and wandered off set and they went door to door looking for him and they knocked down this one door and they're like, oh, if you're looking for the big dude, he uh, knocked down the door and was like, you know who I am? I'm John Belushi. And then he pushed his way inside, raided my fridge, and then he's sleeping on the couch now. He was just like, That'd be what fun. he wanted. Living the dream. That would be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Looks like everyone's wrapped up. You wrapped up? Done eating? For now. All right. For now. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll have some cranberries later. Yeah. Some canned. Tune back in for cranberries. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, by the way, the cranberries Cranberry can that are coming soon. Sh- shaped like a can. Yeah. Can. I like the old Welsh. Can. I've never had it. Can. I've never had either. All right. Well, thanks for... Watching us eat, everyone. Happy Easter. Happy Christmas. Easter. Happy Halloween. Can we all say it at the same time? I don't yeah. want a lot for Easter. One, two, three. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Dumb. What? You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a lot for Easter. It's just a thing I need. <laughs> Just the end of the song.